Eva K. Ham. Hi. You ready to go sword lift them all? So excited. Yes, we're gonna catch some fish in beautiful, beautiful Hawaii. Check this out. We are staying at the Four Seasons. Check out our view of the ocean. Here's the rest of the fam. Dana, baby, how's it going? Uh -huh. Mwah. <laughs> Naders, what's going on? You guys ready to have a good time today? Yeah. Let's go fishing. Man, these are some incredible baits, and I am here with the owner, Michael Tokunaga. Is that correct? That's correct, Kirby. Nice I, to meet you. <laughs> nice to meet you, too. You know, I'm kind of fresh to this Hawaii thing and all the ula alas and the lies. Yeah, and it's the... totally different language, you yeah. know, when you really come down to it, you know. Yeah. We have a language on a, of our own called pigeon, you know, so yeah. which is <laughs> something that, you know, we local people acquired over the years, yeah. <laughs> yeah, well, hey, you have a beautiful story here. Can you Thank tell you. me a little Thank bit you. about the history of it? History, okay. My grandfather, Sumie Tokunaga, started it in 1920 believe it or not so it's like 102 years then what happened was my mom took over in 1960 which is very unusual getting a female running a fishing tackle shop in 1960 when this was basically a male domination kind, uh -huh. of, kind of business you know but my father didn't want to take over the business because he was working outside as um, CEOs of you know different large corporations so my mom said she'll take over she did a good job she liked fishing and all like that and I took over in 1991 wow. yeah and here we are today <laughs> um, my daughter is going to be graduating from college with an MBA soon and she plans to take over so the ironic thing is founder male second female third male myself and my daughter would be fourth in line wow then mm -hmm. maybe your grandson takes yeah, over from you never there. know oh. you never know yes. so tell me a little bit about fishing in hawaii because i mean i i feel like i've landed on a different planet with some of these rods and some of these baits that are you know bigger than my head at times so <laughs> there's all sorts of different species and uh yes and you cater to everything correct yeah. we try to cater from the small ones to the large ones and these are like for large pelagic fish, meaning marlins and tunas and mahi-mahis and what have you. Uh -huh. So these are just the skirts. There's normally heads on top of these, but everybody likes to dress them differently. Right, mm -hmm. right. And then so uh, what we're going to be going after today are panfish with yeah. the B&M rod, the little mighty. Yes. Or those, mighty, yeah. Yeah, those little mighty mites, they are nice carbon rods, you know, with a lot of small sections. Uh -huh. It's like like how we locals would say cane pole fishing cane pole you know fishing. yeah so it's it's a simple basic rig you got your rod you know a single piece rod no guides you tie your line on the end then you make your leader uh, your main line and leader is all in one you uh -huh. put a split shot lid above a foot above the hooks bait it and hope for the best all right well hey i'm super excited to do it now when we use bait are we going to be using live bait or um it's going to be dead bait dead basically bait? shrimp or sometimes believe it or not bread bread yeah bread. yeah 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 so bread we'll, balls we'll, type thing <laughs> maybe yeah maybe? just a piece of a loaf of bread but yeah. we'll try with the fish first and, fish uh, bait and shrimp bait what are we going to be going after anything that bites anything that bites. <laughs> I, I wish i could make a call on that <laughs> hey let me ask you a little uh i mean there are so many I mean, we're still discovering species of mm -hmm. ocean fish. Yeah. Let me ask you about the freshwater fishing in Hawaii. Freshwater is not too much of a domination here. Okay. I mean, there's tilapias and all like that, but everybody likes to saltwater fish. Yeah. You know, because yeah. we're basically a saltwater area in the middle of the Pacific Island, you know. Yeah. So everybody's saltwater fishing. Um, I guess my real question was, are there crappie? That's what I was wanting to know. <laughs> but no, there's no, no unfortunately crappie? not. Yeah. But there's, you know, some freshwater fishing on um, Oahu and okay. there's some on Kauai and got some pretty hot shot freshwater fishermen there too. All right. Mm -hmm. Well, we're going to be fishing with some of your employees. Is yeah. That yeah. I got a couple of them. Can you tell me a little bit about them? They, Todd, one is Todd Nakatani. He, he was, um, I don't know if he had a 
fishing rod when he had diapers on. Oh, you know? really? <laughs> <laughs> I love it. I love it. And there's um, Mackenzie Maisaka. He's a good fisherman too. So hopefully, you know, the three of us can put things together and catch some fish for you to see. Oh man, I'm excited. Thank you for mm -hmm. doing this for me. I appreciate it, and uh, I know we're gonna have fun. <clears throat> I know I'm gonna learn a lot, and. Uh, Man, I'm just overwhelmed with your incredible store. I'm going to probably spend a little bit of money in here so <laughs> because I've seen a lot of baits in here. I uh, see. Very similar to like the crappie magnets that could actually be used for freshwater fishing. Am I right? Yeah, that's correct. How many employees you have? We have about 25. All right. Well, mm -hmm. I look forward to meeting them all. I'm going to go check them out okay, right now. Okay, Kirby. So, and then we're going to go sore lip them all, as they say, yeah. in the States. So, Thank you, Kirby. Thank you. Let's uh -huh. do this. Okay. Fishing in the ocean, man. You never know what you're gonna catch, right? Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> What's the biggest fish you've ever caught on the lightest tackle? Believe it or not, I, I caught an estimated weight of a marlin, 675 pounds, on 50 pound tackle. So um, I'm kind of like 12 to one club. Wow. But it's not documented since we tagged and released it. You okay. Know, it's not something that we brought to the scales, but that was the estimated weight. That's still quite yeah. an accomplishment. Uh -huh. Wow! I'm still looking for my thousand pounder. My largest is a 873 pound marlin. Right, mm -hmm. and that's kind of the trophy fish here in Hawaii. Is yeah, that correct? marlin and tunas. Tunas. Yeah. yeah. The local people like to go for the tunas because that's the good eating fish. Yeah. Know? And it's marketable. Is it called ma mahi mahi when you? No, cook mahi it? mahi is dolphin fish. Dolphin fish. Yeah, that's okay. a very good fish too. And there's also wahoo, uh -huh. which is also ono. Okay. Yeah. And then there's the ahi, which is the yellowfin tuna. Uh -huh. And then you got a family of marlins. Right. Mm -hmm. And so the tuna make the good sushi, is that correct? That's correct. And sashimi. Yes, right? that's correct. Uh -huh. All right. So, Mackenzie, you got us our little mighty. Yep, you got a 10 footer, a 15 footer. Okay. Awesome rods. I think they're real great. Yeah. Um, I think they have a great balance on top. I, I really enjoy it. Very the cool. Real cool. I like it. <laughs> All right. Could you show us how you rig it up? Yeah, for sure. Oh. What I call an overhand loop. Uh huh. Very simple. It's kind of like tying your shoes. It's gonna look like that. It's gonna be like a square knot. Uh huh. Once, twice. Um. Make a noose. Yeah. It's yeah. just gonna slip right over here. And then with this part, you're gonna just tie again another square knot, so it has a little knot at the end here. Okay. And then B6. For Hampo, it's going to be the same length as the pole, so we're going to measure this out. Can you measure it out to the, the base of the rod? All you right. It to be longer or shorter than your pole. Okay. If not, it becomes hard to manage and deal with. Right. So you go, you don't go, oh, you go oh, around you actually, it. You don't actually tie anything. You just put it right back inside of there. Okay. And then you pull the tag line where the bait through right, so the tag yeah yeah then you loop it and tighten that yeah and that's it that's that's it that's it okay step here, that's you pretty easy like shape, okay and then that that butts up against the knot correct that butts up against the knot if you don't feel confident you can always go ahead and throw yourself a half hitch in there okay and a half hitch is basically just another square knot right over the top so it locks down okay something like this put it inside Oh, I see. So you've made a loop and then you thread that through right. over and it. That's just going to... One got more time. Two. Just a double. Okay. Very cool. Thank you for sharing that. Mm-hmm. BNM. Hopefully it doesn't. Uh, Little mighties. <laughs> we got to tell, tell Jason thank you for bringing this in for us Hawaii guys. Fishing, okay. Yeah? Jason from BNM Fishing. Oh, Jason yeah. McDuffie. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. He's a good guy. Very nice and guy. And he's got a kid named Carter that loves to oh. fish as All well. All right, right. Yeah. So Too bad then can I join us here? <laughs> yeah. Come on to Hawaii, Jason and Carter. <laughs> yeah, buddy. So just little nuggets, huh? And what size hooks are we using? Uh, right now we're using real small. I think we're using like a size 12. Okay. Size 12 gamakatsu. This is a, like a size 12 gamakatsu hook. Oh, that o is tiny. That's an octopus hook. Octopus hook. Yeah. That, so that you don't necessarily have to jerk it. You just kind of pull on it yeah. and it goes yeah. to the corner of their mouth? Yeah, hopefully. Okay. Yeah. We don't yeah. want them to swallow. All right. We can throw them back. You just have a little couple split shots above that, right? Yeah. Uh-huh. Okay. 
today we need a split shot since it's slightly surgy okay so we'll see how it is I like the action on these rods it's, it's a real nice fast taper if, uh -huh. you, if you notice Kirby yeah. which, is, which is nice you know it, it makes the bottom section of the rod fairly strong but yeah. yet you have the fine tip on it so you can feel the slightest touches uh-huh yeah sensitive yes that's the word for it so the sensitivity oh there you go thanks my friend you got one well that didn't take too long yeah that's a great bend oh that is uh hey snapper right is that a snapper yeah baby snapper it looks like a little bluegill yeah i love it i love yeah, it maybe like a bluegill family <laughs> yeah very cool boy that didn't take long <laughs> what's that the girls they love coming fishing with us the ones that work at our store so yeah i take them all give them a little experience so when they're helping customers they know what what the customers are looking for and talking about all right the spinning reels and hand poles michael lucky enough has a beautiful boston whaler that he gets to take them out big game fishing for a second i thought you were gonna say a beautiful you know woman but you went right to the boat oh yeah of course. <laughs> i love that too <laughs> yeah of course whoa what bro no nice tag <laughs> you got thumped yeah they call it getting thumped back in the states okay my my reflexes weren't that fast i missed it Oh, yeah, look up. Oh, he came to the follow. Oh, I got him. Oh, he got him. Oh, get that go easy. Go easy. Oh, my goodness. You need a net here. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. That is so awesome. Walk up to the edge. Look at this big booty. Come on, here. Yeah, before it breaks. I think it's going to take off. Yeah, don't let him take off. Turn it to the left. Okay. All right. Just follow him. Just wear him out, right? Yeah, there is no way we're catching this. Once he realizes nah. he's hooked, he's gone. He's got the long boom. Follow, 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 okay. follow him. Follow him over the ledge. Follow him over the ledge. Yeah. If he comes first, he's Oh, my goodness. Wow. You are the luckiest guy I've ever seen. Say that again. You're the, <laughs> you're the luckiest guy I've ever seen. <laughs> That's why he has a TV fishing show. Oh, man. I am blessed. Right. Oh, look at that. That's this, thing, this thing is like seven pounds. Easy. You yeah, we got it. We're recording. Okay, going into that channel, yeah, you might have to follow him. Okay. He's very slowly now. I think we're going to try to run by the rocks. Too. Yeah, very slowly. Don't fall down. Be okay. careful on your footy. Okay. I see him. He's coming back. He's coming back. Oh, it's beautiful. Well, if I can get a shot at his tail right here. Oh, we got to get If him you can him. get him up onto this ledge. Yeah. Okay, right we're there. coming back. Yeah, he's coming back. That's bigger than seven. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we can get that thing floating. What's he gonna you float? Good? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Watch just, just, yeah, watch the rock is the problem. main thing. Yeah. I try to turn his head so he doesn't swim out. Okay. Yeah. You, I mean, if you cannot, you cannot. Oh, he's inside, he's inside. He's inside that hole? Yeah, yeah. Oh, he's yeah, going. follow the hole. Oh, oh he, he came, came out. Yeah. He came out. He no, he's out. Yeah, he's still on. He's still on. He turned. Oh, this is amazing. Oh, look at that. Look at that. That's a. That is what I call a fight there. <laughs> I, I'm glad the host got the hook up. Yeah. <laughs> Unreal. We might be here to after lunch. Yeah. <laughs> wow. How, how lucky. Oh, look at way out there. You see, I'm on one leg. You cannot, you cannot. Oh, don't let him go over that rock. If he goes over that rock, it's over. Oh, oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> nice size one. Dang it, I tried. It's okay. That was a beautiful that fish. That was a huge <laughs> bluefin trevally. Yeah. yeah. Estimated weight, maybe 10 plus pounds. Really? Dang. Nice size. Wow. That's insane. How I got dumb was that? Okay. <laughs> Can you tie him up and the switch pulls yeah, him yeah, again right now? Guarantee. Let's see. Oh, you know what? Yeah, he broke. He just oh, yeah. broke the line. Yeah. Okay. Didn't break the pole. Just broke the line. Oh, that's awesome. That's cool. You can just, yeah, you, you can, can take this one if you want. Oh no, I'm gonna keep this one. <laughs> you got a hook on the oh, yeah, I'm just gonna tie it. Yeah. You, you, you got a new hook. I don't want to dirty my hands. I need. Oh yeah. <laughs> oh, unreal. That was unreal. You got footage of that? Oh, yeah. oh nice, nice. 
Yeah, okay, there. that's the show, that's the wrap. That's, that's a wrap, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Look, you got that camera, sir, be another fishing tail. Another fishing tail, yeah. You would come in, tell me you hooked a 10 pound for peel, yeah. a handful, and I would laugh at you. You'd laugh at me? 100%. All right. <laughs> you got it on camera, so the we can't believe you. The whole store would laugh at you. The whole store would? Yeah. yeah. Okay. People are not going to believe what just happened. Okay. Well, hey, I feel good. <laughs> you guys are making me feel good. Thank you. Uh, no, that, that is awesome. Mahalo is what you say, yeah. right? When you think, oh, I got. I just got thumped. What's that? Kenji and I have fished here our whole lives, and I don't think we've ever hooked one that big. Really? Not back here. <laughs> Not back here. And on top of it, on a handful. Yeah. On a handful. All right. I might have, but definitely didn't catch it. Oh, I'm on. Oh, see. Oh, look at that. Oh, bigger, larger. Yeah, but tell me how much fun kids would have doing this. Oh, absolutely. Yeah, you'd hook a kid for life with yeah, fishing, exactly. right? Exactly. Mm. So getting... Uh oh. Oh, look at that. There you got a bend. He got a bend. Oh, 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 oh. Hey, Eva, get what this. Bigger one, bigger one. Wow. Oh, right what a beautiful yeah. fish. Oh, is that another little snapper? Yeah, that's not so little though. Right on, snapper. Very cool. Where is the hook? Inside again? Yeah. My oh my. You guys love to let them swallow. <laughs> so, um, <clears throat> how big do they need to be before you start considering them for the paint? This, this would be this big enough. There. Yeah. yeah. That, that size in a bowl. Get a couple nuggets off of him? Yeah, of course. Yeah. And Todd, what's your favorite way of cooking these? Um, I like the picture. I mean, take a picture of the fish. Yeah, that's gorgeous. I like mine deep fried. Yeah. And then we have this thing called chicken katsu curry here in Hawaii. Chicken what? Chicken katsu. I mean, okay. I mean not chicken katsu, but Korean chicken. Excuse me. Yeah. And then you take the Korean chicken sauce and you put it on the fried fish. And, it's and that's it, huh? Yeah. <laughs> it's a shoyu teriyaki sauce. Okay. With, with ginger and chili pepper. Sugar. And what have you. Oh, yeah, yeah. man. Yeah. Yeah. That sounds good. <laughs> All right. Oh, oh Eva's on. Hey. Yes. Nice one. Swing, swing it in the boat. <laughs> Oh, I'm going this way. Come on. And you know what? You can actually collapse the rod really easy. But uh, hey, Eva. Hey. A nice little beautiful snapper there. <laughs> Thank you, guys. You still can try that size, Todd. Yeah. yeah. That's, that's this it. Is, this is actually an invasive species. Yeah. Really? So a lot of people would just kill this. We would kill the fish, put it back in the ocean, let the crabs, the shrimp eat it. Yeah. Because it does compete against our natives here but this is a pretty good eating fish and i know my dad and a lot of old timers love to eat this so we'll let them go and get bigger all right sounds good mm -hmm. having fun yes it's fun <laughs> hooked on fishing now yeah <laughs> <laughs> oh did you get one yeah i got one nice oh candy did you tie this hook uh, you didn't tie this hook down this, one. One. this is what not to do <laughs> Oh, that's a bad tie. It's a bad tie. Who tied that? Mackenzie? I'm not too sure. I'm going to blame Mackenzie though. <laughs> <laughs> Mackenzie, is that why I didn't land that big fish? Yeah, yeah. I didn't tie yours. My hook was yours. gone, Mackenzie. I didn't tie yours. Mackenzie, <laughs> that was a fish of a lifetime, wasn't it? Yeah, I was. <laughs> oh, man. Hey, Michael. Yes. Thank you so much for my, taking, my pleasure there, taking time Kirby. out of your day congratulations on your successful wow. business thank you <laughs> gonna be four generations right yes, yes. for sure yeah how proud yeah. of you of that i'm so proud but yeah i just like to thank our community that yeah. helped that supported us for 102 years you know yeah mm -hmm. when we were leaving uh to follow you yeah i got in the car with yeah. my wife and i yeah. said this guy is the man <laughs> because you rig you know not only you know families that love to fish but mm -hmm. you know mm -hmm. commercial fishermen yeah. you uh -huh. rig guides yeah. mm -hmm. and uh, everybody in this island here knows you am i right yeah kind of sort of yeah. but you know what i like to see generations in the shop sometimes we see three generations in the store at once yeah that's and, what and it's and all about yeah, it's family exactly. 
Exactly. Yeah, Kirby. well, thank you, man, for passing on the Hawaiian fishing spirit to my me pleasure, and my daughter. Yes. Yes, thank you so much. <laughs> and Todd McKenzie, you guys are awesome. Can I buy you guys lunch? Yeah, no problem. Where's a good place to eat around here? We can go to Cafe Pesto. How's that? Yeah, do they got some good fish there? Yeah. Let's they do got it. Fresh fish. Yeah. Thank okay. you so much. Thank we you, Kirby. We sincerely appreciate you guys watching Fish Eat Live and yeah. uh, Mahalo is what they yes, say, right? Mahalo, yeah. yeah, Mahalo. Thanks a lot. Subscribe to the channel, hit those likes, hit those comments, get yourself a little mighty and uh, get the family out and uh, make some memories on the water. Thanks a lot, guys. Have a great day. God bless. Oh, we're on. We're yeah. on. We're on. Hold on. One more fish. Isn't that how it goes? You always got to get one more fish. Oh, Mackenzie, what is that? What do you got? Serio and I'm Mackenzie. Come over here. Oh, wow. Kalani, I'm Mackenzie. Well, that's a good bend. You got to come over here? Yeah, I think it's just a koala, bro. A what? The same kind snapper. snapper. Oh yeah. That's a nice. Look at that. Broad bending. Yeah, man, that's awesome. That's awesome. I can't eat the whole pole you get more at a time. I got you. That fish was on cue. <laughs> I think I tied my hook. I think I tied that hook. So we're probably gonna land this fish. Try to catch that one. <laughs> Are you milking this fight now? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. Oh, it's a big one. Oh, nice. Nice. Oh, that's the oh. largest one yet. Hey! Yeah! Wow, that's about the size of a nice little crappie there. Very cool. Thank you guys for watching. God bless. Very cool. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching Fish Eat Live. Our mission is to demonstrate the benefits of the Fish Eat Live lifestyle. We look forward to educating, entertaining, and attracting you to the healthy lifestyle of the great outdoors. We're definitely going to have some wholesome family fun on the water every Sunday at 6 p.m. So hit that subscription and that notification bell because we want you to come be a part of this.